Good afternoon from Scotland. I am at the trailhead of Ben Hope, Scotland's most northerly Munro. And if you've ever thought about trying to climb to the summit, which is way up there, then feel free to join me on this video because that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Following this trail right up there to the top. Let's get going. Let me give you a quick intro on the day as I pass these pretty little waterfalls. Temperature is around about 13, 14 degrees. It's a very mild day. And conditions up in the sky it has been raining already. It's looking a little stormy, very cloudy. But the last time I saw the summit of Ben Hope, it was not covered in clouds. I don't think it was anyway. Look at that, that's nice. So the hike up to the top, which is way up there, takes around about five, six hours to get up there and back again. And it is about five miles in distance. So, I'm going to see if I can get about 30 minutes in, I think, get some of the work done. There's been a couple of occasions where I thought I might have left the footpath, veered off it somehow, because sometimes it feels like you're kind of walking up a little stream, but it's not too bad, it's fairly steep. Okay, when I get to an easier part of the pathway, I'll tell you what a Munro is, and I'll tell you what Munro bagging is as well, because this is the first Munro, hopefully, all being well, that I get into my bag. Okay, nice little leap across the stream. Here we go. See, it's coming down from the very mountain I'm climbing. Here we go, fairly straightforward, I think this way. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go, and following the path of the stream that flows down the mountainside. The Strathmore River on the right, and the road that I followed to get here on the left, a little winding country route through the Scottish Highlands. Tell you what, when you're following that, you really do feel like you're in Scotland. If you wanna see me driving that route, or if you want to see what the road is like or the route is like, then check out my previous video where I started off glamping at the wee house glamping and uh, drove for about an hour and a half along that route to here. And then I'm going to continue later today onto Tongue, which is where I'm staying tonight. That's a little plug for my other video. This is a NC500 series that I'm doing following the route from Inverness anti-clockwise back to Inverness. So it should be good. I've seen a few people as I've been walking up that are heading back down again. And they tell me that at the top at the moment, it is just completely cloudy. You can't see more than 20 feet in front of you, but it is clearing. Apart from what I think is a rainstorm down there, I think that's heading my way. And after that, with a bit of luck, the cloud, stormy cloud up there looks a lot higher than the mountain range, so I may just get some views when I get there.
finish off. Five minutes later, it started raining heavy again. So waterproofs back on, GoPro back out. And uh, strangely enough, the sun's now come out as well. So, well, I hate to sound like a weather report every time I turn the camera on, but it is now sunny, dry, and very, very, very windy. You can probably hear the wind hitting the microphone. That's where I started, by the way, down there. And uh, I should say that the trek has brought me up here over these rocks and boulders. And I'm now heading up this way. The trek seems to be either peatland, bogland, or these pretty steep rocks and stones that you have to climb up. Nothing major though, it's pretty tricky. I'm heading up there somewhere. I said earlier that Ben Hope, which is what I'm climbing, is a Munro. And what that means in Scotland is that it is a mountain oh, over 3,000 feet in altitude. Ben Hope is just under 1,000 meters. So what is that, about 3,400 feet? The highest Munro in Scotland is the famous one, Ben Nevis. That is about 13, 45, 1,345 meters, I believe. So that's just over 4,000 feet. And Munros are named after, they're named after Sir Hugh Munro, who way back in the 1890s catalogued all 282 of them. And that is the pastime of Munro bagging. So what Munro bagging means is that when you climb a Munro and reach the summit, you can then put it in your bag and say that you've done it, essentially. So that's what I'll hopefully be doing with this one. But there are 287 to climb. Oh, that wind is blowing me all over the place. But let's get the first one in the bag first of all before we worry too much about the rest. These are called cans. They are piles of rocks that are supposed to signify the route ahead. The section that I'm in right now is really difficult to tell where you're going because it all looks the same. There's not such a footpath as there was earlier, but I am going to follow the rock piles. Sometimes they do mean the summit of a mountain, but definitely not here because I can still see a whole load of distance still to cover. And I can see some more up there, so I'm going to head that way. Wow, look at this behind me. It has just opened up. So the top is up there and it looks like it's covered in cloud at the moment. Well, just a few seconds ago I could see the river down there in the valley but that has clouded over now. The wind has picked up again and it's getting pretty chilly now. I'm going to put my coat on in just a minute I think. Although I might leave it off until I get right to the top because it's hard work getting up there. Right, I've still got those fingers crossed, hoping for a little bit of clear conditions when I get up there. Let's continue. Woo! The wind is another level up here. Oh my goodness, I can hardly stand. But just ahead of me there is the trig point. There we go. So I'm going to head now to the tree point and touch it. That's what I want to do. Everything is clouding over. There we go. Woo! Crikey. All I've got to do now is wait for the clouds to clear.
Okay, check that out. Just a really short clearing in the clouds, I think. You've got to be quick up here. I can see a rainbow over there as well. I don't know if you can see it on the video and then, wow, yeah, I can see the, the northern seaboard up there. That's the North Sea, I believe. Rainbow looking incredible there. A couple of locks down below and as quickly as you see them, they have uh, indeed been covered by the cloud once again. I was hoping to get a really decent clear day, but that's not what has happened. But it's incredible to be here nonetheless, and I'm glad I've been able just to see the locks down there because they look amazing. Okay, well I'm going to, I think, call it a day with the video. I have reached the summit of Ben Hope, just under a thousand meters in altitude. It's taken me a good three hours to get here, but that did include me stopping a lot and taking photographs. And I won't lie, stopping to take a few rest breaks here and there as well. Okay, well, I'll keep the video rolling and uh, I'll finish the video of any clips that I get of clearings and incredible viewpoints. But if not, then thanks for watching the video. This place is incredible loads more coming from Scotland so stay tuned time to head down I think you've got to be careful because it is so misty and foggy it's actually hard to remember which way to go down once you pick up the trail you're okay but at the moment what I'm seeing around me is just fog and mist so it's like well which way did I come up which way do I start walking Thank you.